Hi, my name is Ali Shesava, and in this video we're going to talk about the interwinding capacitance of a transformer. Uh, everybody talks about leakage of a transformer all the time, however, there is a direct relationship between the interwinding capacitance and the leakage. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this, uh, we're going to uh, explain what are the issues with having too much interwinding capacitance and then we're going to do some measurements on different, on two identical transformers which have been wound in a different way. So here I've got a simple symbol for the transformer. If you, if you consider you've got a primary and you've got a secondary, you've got a primary winding and you've got a secondary winding and the cable of the winding has got an insulator on it. So you've got a primary winding cable and you've got a secondary winding cable. Both of them have got insulation on them. Let's call it the dielectric. You've effectively made yourself a capacitor. So there is capacitance between the primary and the secondary because they're, they're wound like so and you've got conductors and insulators, conductors and insulators and so on and therefore there is some interwinding capacitance and we can show that like so for example. Okay, the issue is that the, the relationship between the leakage and the interwinding capacitance. So Everybody knows that leakage inductances uh, are not good and everybody tries to minimize it. Uh, the leakage inductance, especially let's say in a flyback transformer, will cause huge spikes on the voltage waveforms and ringing and all sorts of problems and then you have to create the snubbers or clamps and we have done videos on those. But the, in order to reduce the leakage, you have to wind the the, the primary and the secondary and all the, all the windings extremely tightly together. So if you imagine you've got a, a two wires which are this far apart, there is more leakage. If they're this far apart, there is less leakage. However, if you consider this as a capacitor, if the two plates are this far apart, you've got little capacitance. And if you get this far apart, then you've got a lot of capacitance. So the, the, the relationship is one that you have to find a good compromise. For. Um, you can, if you wind your own transformers or you ask uh, a specialist to wind a transformer for you, you can specify very, very, very low leakage and hopefully the guy will succeed in, 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 in winding it for you. Uh, but that will mean that the interwinding capacitance will be very high because he's wound it very tightly in order to uh, r reduce the leakage. And what happens with this? is that first of all, high frequency noise has got a direct path to go that way and that way, and that has got implications for your EMC. And also, the presence of this causes spikes, like so, on the current waveform of your power supply. So you always have to find a happy medium between the leakage and the interwinding capacitor. So now we're going to go to the lab and we're going to measure two transformers. One of them is just normal winding, uh, primary and secondary, and the other one is interleaved. Now, the interleaved method of winding is done in such a way that the leakage is reduced. But we're going to measure the capacitance, the interwinding capacitance of these two transformers, and you will see that the, inter the, 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 the interwinding capacitance of the one that has got lower leakage the one with the interleaf winding is actually much higher than the one that has got higher leakage and is wound normally. Okay, so here I've got two transformers. Uh, this one is just conventional method of winding and this one is interleaved. In order to measure the interwinding capacitance, uh, here I've got the primary, the two wires of the primary. Here I've got the two wires of the secondary. And all you have to do is short these two and short these two and imagine that is the two-legged capacitor and you push that into the BWIC, we've got the body 100 that measures the impedance and you'll see that uh, it is capacitive. Yeah? Okay, so I've done this for the uh, conventional one already. Uh, the primary is, is shorted over here and, is, and the secondary is shorted over here and we're measuring it. So if I now go to my Bode analyzer suite, you can clearly see that this is a capacitor because the impedance is falling with, uh, with, with respect to frequency. There is a resonance, self-resonance around here, and this is 
the capacitance. I'm measuring the capacitance is around 10 picofarad. It's, it's, you can see how constant it is over the entire frequency range until you get to around 50 megahertz when it starts uh, to resonate. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So we have got around, let's say, 13 uh, picofarads worth of capacitance. And that is a conventionally wound transformer. Then this one has got less leakage because it's got interleaved winding. Uh, and I am uh, proposing to you that because there is less leakage, the woundings are wound tighter together and therefore the capacitance is higher. So let me take this out. Let me take these two out. It's a little, little bit finickety. So there we go. This is the secondary. I'm shorting the secondary now with this little jumper thing. Okay. So now primary gets shorted together here. The secondary is shorted already, and I measure it there. And there we go. So you can see clearly now, again, this is the capacitance. Right, so the impedance, that's a bigger part of the impedance, so the impedance is lower, right? And now I'm looking at the capacitance. And look, the capacitance of the conventional winding uh, transformer was around 13. Uh, however, now I have got almost 13 picofarads. Now I've got almost 30 picofarad of capacitor. So it's more than doubled by the fact that I have reduced my leakage. Um, and that's why you need to find a nice compromise between how much you reduce the leakage and how much interwinding capacitance you're going to get. Hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to meeting you at one of our workshops. Transformers. One of them is found just is, is wound just normal one winding uh, primary over, uh, and secondary on top of each other, and the other one uh, is um, wound somehow. <laughs>